everyone's always just been pretty chill. Everyone's kind of always stayed to themselves in the neighborhood. Nene Johnson has called her East Vancouver neighborhood home for nearly two decades. She'll be the first to tell you she's had no complaints until recently. This is happening back to back, like this is getting way too serious. The mother of four kids, ages two to eight, says the week before last, somebody threw a brick through the windshield of a car parked in the driveway. Not the biggest deal in the world had it not been for a brick tossed through the front window of the house just one month earlier. One of my kids could have been hit, like, we're, I'm still picking up glass. I just pulled a glass shard out of my son's foot the other day. The 28-year-old Johnson says while the bricks through the window and windshield were scary, nothing compares to what happened in May. She says somebody fired a gun at the house, the bullet going right through the garage door. My children go out in my garage all the time and they like play out there or like we have another refrigerator out there. So they go out there and grab like waters and juices. Like what if anyone could have been walking past and been hurt. Johnson says her family is one of, if not the only black family in the neighborhood. She can't help but wonder if the violence is racially motivated. And to do that to someone, it's just, that's just horrible. And it's like, why would you do that? Why? Community members who have rallied around the Johnsons, even installing a new security camera, wonder too if race has something to do with this. The color of my skin, the color of Nini's skin, isn't cause to be a jerk. For now, Nene Johnson hopes the attacks on her and her family stop before someone is hurt, or worse, killed. You put so much fear in the heart of me, my children, and my mom to where it's like we don't even feel safe in our own home. All right, the Vancouver Police Department is investigating these incidents. At this point, though, they do not believe they are racially motivated. They say they've responded to the Johnson home a couple dozen times over the last two years. They believe what's happening could be connected to people who come and go from that house. Nene Johnson isn't buying it. She's calling the Vancouver Police Department's response to this dehumanizing and belittling. I'm Mike Benner for KGW News.